Hello, welcome to Jam's channel. I'm Jam, and today we're taking a look at the uh, Railcraft mod part ticket again. Uh, and this time we're looking at the parts that make up the rails uh, because there are no recipes for them in game, you have to go to websites. So I'm just going to run through a few of them. Um, I've got quite a, quite a few to get through. Um, so we'll see by my own shot. So we'll try and do this nice and quickly. Okay, so uh, the f first thing you will need uh, when you start Railcraft uh, is a wooden tie. Uh, that's obviously continental lingo. It's called a sleeper here uh, in the UK. <laughs> Just saying. So, uh, in each of these chests will contain uh, the crafting recipes. Um, so if I open this one, uh, you will see here, uh, here's the crafting recipe, and this 3x3 three three sets in the middle, and this is the final outcome. So, to make a wooden tie, um, all you need are three wooden slabs, uh, and creosote oil. Um, now I've done this one first, because it's actually one of the most trickiest ones to, uh, to obtain. This monstrosity behind me is um, called a coke oven, uh, and that's not as in the drink. It's obviously cold coke. So, as you can see, it's a specialised, uh, specialised thing to build, and it's actually just consists of this uh, kind of orangey kind of brick. Uh, it's three by three by three. Um, so ignore the, the normal brick beneath it, that's just to have it up a bit higher, so I can put all this stuff in there, below. So, to make this, um, you will need these coke oven bricks, which are these orangey tanned coloured ones. To make them, you will need this crafting recipe. Uh, so I've got some statistics for you, which are a bit scary actually. Uh, in order to make one of these uh, coke ovens, you will need uh, 130 sand and 104 clay. And the clay is needed to make these bricks here. Um, so you need uh, four clay bricks uh, to make one coke oven brick. And you need five sand. Uh, so if you lay them out in that configuration, you will get the coke oven brick, and you'll need uh, 26 uh, of these to make your uh, coke oven. Now, to make it, it's very simple, so I'm just going to get uh, a coke oven brick out of my inventory, and show you how to build it. So, to start, you just need a 3x3 three three square, so there you go, you've got your 3x3, three three. and then build up the sides, so just like that, uh, leaving the middle one empty, and then cover the top over. So you're just leaving that hollow inside, and when it's built right, these will appear on each side, as you can see, and that makes you, that lets you know that your coke oven is complete. The eventual aim of this is to get creosote, um, creosote oil which is a, kind of a, a by-product of uh, obtaining coke. Uh, so if we right-click on the uh, oven, anywhere, it doesn't matter where, um, you'll see we've got three slots. Uh, this one is for fuel, so you can either use wood or coal. Um, the top will convert the coal into coke, and the bottom bit will be your oil, uh, as you can see by the symbol there. So, I'm going to show you a little, just to speed up the process, I've got 64 coal here. Um, now, it is a very slow process, it takes roughly 3 minutes to convert one coal into one coke, and there's a 1 in 4 chance of getting a creosote oil, so it does take quite a while. So, over here I've got another one, one that I built earlier, and you can see you've got these interesting contraptions. These are actually uh, redstone engines. Um, so these can do it, these, you can basically do it automatically uh, using these. 
You also see I've got two types of pipes. I've got wooden pipes and I've got iron pipes. And I'll show you how to make all of those now. So, to make the pipes, uh, I've got two types here. First type, wooden pipe, which you'll need... Um, because the wooden pipes own... I think... Well, as far as I know, the redstone engines only connect to wooden pipes. I might be wrong in that, but that's what I could have been experimenting with today. So, very simple. Wooden plank, glass, wooden plank in that configuration. And that'll make you one wooden transport pipe. Uh, the iron is similar, but uses iron ingots instead of the wooden planks. And that gets you one iron transport pipe. So, that's all straightforward. Uh, the piston, uh, you will need a piston to make uh, a redstone engine. So the piston is four cobblestone, one iron ingot, one redstone and three wooden planks along the top in that configuration. Um, and that makes a piston. So it's all kind of, you know, you can see how we've got that format if you look at the uh, piston there. And you also need uh, two wooden gears to make a redstone engine. Wooden gears are simply made by having uh, eight sticks. Uh, so you do need eight. Uh, two there, two there, two there, two there, and that will make you one wooden gear. But you need two wooden gears, so it's double quantities. So, to make the redstone engine, you will need to assemble it in this order. You need three wooden planks at the top, one glass, um, wooden gear either side of the piston, and that will make you your redstone engine. Um, so it's really quite, it's a little bit long-winded, but the results are worth it, um, in my opinion. Okay, so, as you can see here, um, I've got pipes coming out of uh, the oven, one here, um, and I've also got one going in at the top. Now this chest contains, as you can see, coal. So if you want to put coal into the top of the top slot of the furnace here, uh, you will need to put an iron pipe there, wooden pipe there, connect the redstone engine to a wooden pipe, put the chest on top, fill it with coal, and then turn it on. And you should see the coal drop down slowly. There it goes, it's going slowly in, and then it should appear in this slot with any luck. There we go. So that's all very straightforward. So it's going to take a while to uh, make those, but we'll see how this one's going on. So here we go, we've got one, <laughs> we've got one cold coke. Uh, so you can see it's a very lengthy process, um, but you can do other stuff while you're waiting around. Uh, and you can have more than one cold coke oven. Uh, one thing you do need to bear in mind is that you can't have them right next to each other. You have to have a gap of at least one. Um, Why yes, it won't work. Okay, so we've got our first creosote oil. As you can see, we've got coal coke at the top here, and we've got a byproduct which is creosote oil. So we can now um, build our first wooden wooden sleeper. Um, so you can see it's quite resource hungry actually, just to get one wooden sleeper, and you'll need four wooden sleepers in order to make one bit of track. So it is time time consuming. Um, but, uh, you know, it's worth it in the long run. So the next thing is a wooden rail bed, uh, which looks like that. So as I was saying, you need four wooden ties, like that. That will make your wooden, ro wooden rail bed. Uh, if we go along, you can also get stone variants. Um, so the stone tie is just three stone slabs and the rebar. Now to make a rebar, you will need one of these, which is a rolling machine. It's basically a crafting table, uh, but for metals. Um, that's all it is. Um, so here we go, to make a rebar, you need to put uh, three, uh, three iron ingots in that configuration into your rolling machine, and that will make a rebar. Uh, and then a stone rail bed is similar to a wooden rail bed, but it's four stone tyres, like that. So, um, don't forget by the way, 
If you want to work out uh, a recipe for something that's in your inventory, all you need to do is hover over it, um, and then press R, and then that will bring up uh, how you craft it. Uh, so then you need to press E again to get rid of it, and then you're back to this. So, if we find the rolling machine, I can show you uh, how to make it. There we go, that's how you make it. Four pistons, a crafting table, and four iron, four iron ingots. So that's how you make um, a rolling machine. So it's, you know, fairly straightforward. You can see it's going to take a lot of materials, though. Um, which is always the case with, uh, with this mod. Uh, nothing's quite straightforward. Um, but don't let that put you off, because it's a really good mod. Um, okay. So let's move on to the next one, which is the, uh, the standard rails. You'll need these and the rail bed to create a bit of track. So again, we need to use the um, rolling machine. And you need to put in it six iron ingots in this configuration, which will give you six standard rails. So it's a bit more generous, this one, uh, which is good. So again, a very simple recipe. Gold plate rails, um, again using a rolling machine, or just uh, three, uh, three gold ingots on the right and three standard rails on the left. And that makes you six gold plate rails. Um, so you know, it's not, not too bad actually. Um, not too resource hungry. So the laminate rails, um, again you use a rolling machine. Uh, three iron ingots and three gold ingots, which make three laminate rails, uh, as you can see. So, I can just show you the uh, rolling machine. As you can see, it's basically a crafting table. That's all it is. Um, so it's very similar to a crafting table indeed. Okay, so, these are a different colour because they show the vanilla rails. Uh, but obviously, because it's rail craft, they've altered the crafting recipe. Um, because it's annoying. <laughs> so, the standard row, um, i.e. one of these, is just uh, one wooden, wooden row bed in the middle, followed by six standard rails, uh, three either side. That makes you 24 rails, which is actually quite good. Um, it's not bad at all. The uh, powered rails, uh, you need uh, six gold plate rails in that configuration, and that will give you eight powered rails. So again, not too bad. And the detector rail uh, is a bit more complex. You need a wooden rail bed, pressure plate, redstone, all in the middle, um, and you need six standard rails in that configuration. That will give you eight detector rails. Um, so a similar amount to the uh, powered rails. Okay, well, I think that is all I'm going to say for this one, so I'll see you next time, folks. Bye!